right, everybody. I'm gonna get my adjusting here, okay? My in frame. Okay, dokie. Okay, welcome back to Clumsy Clairvoyance. I rang the bell. We are in session. Clumsy Clairvoyance is in session. Today is gonna be so fun. It's Mystery Monday. And I got some good mysteries for you today. We are going to be doing, well, you know what? I'll just, let's surprise you, okay? So, before we begin, I'd like to say today I'm going to be using the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck, okay? This is by Colette Barin, or Baron Reed. I made her French. Baron Reed. Um, I'm sorry if I slaughtered your name, ma'am. I love your deck. I love this deck in particular. It is so full of spiritual messages, guidance, all of that. The illustration is gorgeous as well, okay? So, without further ado, I would like you guys to think about your spirituality, okay? Think about yourself as a spiritual being, your entity. Don't think so much of your physical body, but just your spirituality. And your own unique life path okay now with that said i want you guys to choose a deck okay you're going to be choosing either pile hold on let me get these ones out of the way number one this is i just get that my finger out the way too for now okay so pile one will be chalcedony or chalcedony i might have mispronounced that this is um, a crystal that promotes brotherly love. It's uplifting. It's encouraging. It also lets you know what battles are worth fighting and which ones are not. So it kind of gives you like this inner courage to know, okay, so is it time to fight or not? Is it time to, you know, keep my mouth shut? Or is this something that's worth me, you know, opening my lips for, for example? Okay, and then the second pile is gonna be I know you guys can't really see this one but this is geode crystal okay geode crystal is one of my favorite crystals it has so many amazing um, metaphysical properties and I love it okay so geode means in Greek it means earth like all right which I think is kind of cool um, this is really good for astral projection it's good for um, any type of spiritual work or meditation you might be doing as well okay geode crystal and what else you know what else is so cool about geode crystal is each geode crystal has its own positive components that it outputs or you know its own energy and it's different and unique to every geode crystal okay so go ahead think about so like i said i want you guys to think about your spiritual path your journey and what messages are for you right now from the divine from your spirit guides, from your angels, from above and beyond, whatever you may want to call it, okay? Now, go ahead and choose with your intuition. Is it going to be pile number one or pile number two? Okay? So, those of you that chose pile number one, I'm going to go ahead and set aside pile number two real quick, or card number two. Okay, so, if you chose number one, Pile one, it's actually a normal card already pre-shuffled and got your guys' cards ready. But number one is the Chalcedonian, okay? What messages what messages here for you about your spiritual path? Okay, you guys got a really cool one. Okay, you guys got the wise woman of Wonderland. Number 21. I want it to get this in frame just so you could see just how beautiful the illustration is. And look at her face. She just looks so like um kind of sneaky but fun. I love it. It's very whimsical too so i'm gonna go ahead and read from the book because i'm not entirely familiar with this deck yet and this helps me get more affiliated with it okay so for those of you who pulled card 21 the wise woman of wonderland she is your ally okay now the wise woman of wonderland brings integrity to thought word and deed she lets you know that as long as you're in the flow of honesty and being true to your to your word she keeps you under her protection and care when she appears as your ally, she sig signals a time when honesty pays off, yielding greater dividends than you expected. You'll be thankful that you remain faithful and loyal to your path. She reminds you that compromise isn't always an option. 
Stay true to yourself first and foremost. Although it may appear that you could lose something as a result, you never lose what is truly yours. Okay, I love this one. I, I like it too because it's, it's encouraging you to stay true to your authentic self and to your words. So those of you who might, you know, I mean, who cares what other people say? I'm, I'm kind of in that vibe. Like, I really just don't care, like, what other people say unless, you know, I really love them or care for them or, you know, value their opinion. But don't stick to the masses, you know, beat to your own or drum to your own beat, whatever the phrase may be, drum and beat, beat to your own drum. There we go. I got it. I remembered. Okay. So yeah, be unique to you is like really the vibe I'm getting right now for you guys. Stay true to your work. Stay true to yourself first and foremost. Okay. Like, like I said, if, if you're someone who lately has been getting these vibes, like things have been going on around you and you're just like not okay with it or it's just not you feel like you're having to put on a front or a mask i'm even feeling like for some of you guys it's coming through definitely take off that mask stay true to yourself okay because that's what's going to bring you success and love and good and good people around you as well okay now for those of you who chose this card the wise woman of wonderland you guys are going to pick the calcedony this is your guys' surprise okay so, I've been saying I was going to do this for a while, and without further ado, hold on, let me take off my dinger, because this is my special charm, okay? I'm going to do a little charm, charm casting for your group, okay? Now, with the charm casting, you guys are the ones that pulled card number one with the Chalcedony, the Wise Woman of Wonderland. I know what you guys did. Look, these are all my charms, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and spread these out. And as they land, each crown has its own meaning, okay? Let me see if you guys can get to do that. I can see that. Lots of different charms, okay? Each with their own meaning, all right? So, as I go ahead, mix these up. You guys are the wise one. I'm going to th toss these, and I'm going to see if there's any additional messages for you, okay? So, I'm going to ask the connect, connect your spirit guide, the divine... Is there anything else connected with group number one who picked the wise one? This Wonderland card, the Judas card, the Chalk of Dome. Alright, let's see what charms you guys pulled, alright? I have the letter H, okay? I have the letter D. I have. I love that you guys got this. This is one of my daughter's charms that she gave to me specifically, but it's like the balloon doggy thing, creature. I don't know, but I love it. It reminds me of a unicorn. I guess it is. Yeah, it is a unicorn. It's a unicorn balloon inflatable charm, but this is so childlike and whimsical and creative. So I'm sensing, especially since you guys picked the wise woman of Wonderland, you guys have a really fun imagination. Okay, you guys are also got the horseshoe, horseshoe, which brings luck. So again, staying true to yourself is going to bring you that luck, okay? Ah, you guys got, okay, so these are one of my beads that has a string on it. This signifies attachments, okay, either attachment to the material world, to a relationship, to people, um, to cer certain, oh my gosh, I just took off the bead from the string. Okay, I'll fix it later. But, okay, so the ones with the, the beads on the string, these are significant of attachments, okay? And like I said, these could be attachments to the material world, to um, friendships, anything you could think of. I'm kind of feeling like for you guys, maybe these are attachments um, as far as like, you know, what maybe the world thinks of you or attachments as far as like, you know, um, the outside that are looking at. Sometimes you guys care a lot about what people think. So maybe it might be time to kind of, you know, let that beat fall and, you know, beat to your own drum, drum to your own beat. Remember, whatever it was. <laughs> So yeah, I'm definitely getting that. Um, you guys have, we saw the T. You guys also have an N. Okay, so these letters might be significant to you. And you guys got the shell, that's energy. Okay, and then you guys got lumpy opal in here, okay? Now, lumpy opal or water opal is especially interesting because it is all about, um, it connects to the third eye chakra and it's about spiritual like awakening. It's about um, like the hidden mysteries which, I mean, I feel like it really does tie into this kind of, like, 
whimsical vibe. I'm feeling like you guys are highly creative and maybe you just haven't, you know, been exploring that. And I'm telling you guys, explore it. Explore it. Why not? Right? Okay, so that's all I got for group number one. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe pretty please and thank you. Now let's move on. I'm gonna put these back in the jar thing. We're gonna be moving on to the ones who chose pile or card number two, okay? So If you guys chose option number two with the geo crystal, this badass crystal right here. Okay, edit that out. Wait, leave it out. Okay, so with the geo crystal, let's see your guys' messages right now. You guys got the queen of light, okay? Elimination, enlightenment, and celebration. Okay, like I said, I want you guys to get like a really great view of these cards. The illustration is so beautiful, and the messages are, are very thoughtful, okay? So let's see. Like I said, I'm referring to the book. I'm not quite familiar with all these cards yet. So I will be reading it just so I don't give any, you know, misguidance on the cards that were meant for you, the messages meant for you. Okay, so with the Queen of Light, these are the messages for you right now, okay? The Queen of Light is a beautiful ally and comes into your life to hurl success in all your ventures. She illuminates the most important steps of your path. It reminds you of your own brilliance, your intelligence, and you are in, you're intelligent and inspired, and all your needs will be met. Remember that you're the instrument of the divine shining through you in this world. You're on the correct path for the highest good. The queen also brings you insight into how you manifest your reality in the most miraculous way. She promises that you'll be shown the next right action and celebrates you as you stand as you stand brilliant, joyful, and enlightened in the present time. You've worked hard to come this far. You can be proud to stand tall in your conviction that in your heart of hearts you know the truth of your situation. Rewards for your perseverance and willingness to learn are are on their way. Gratitude and acceptance are key today. Oh my goodness, you guys! I got chills for you guys reading this one. Okay, so I feel like you guys have really been sticking true to yourself, okay? That maybe, and I kind of feeling like too, like maybe there's been like some issues going on. There's been a, a, maybe it's been, you know, a difficult or challenging time in your life. And you have still, you know, held out, held on to your beliefs, your own personal beliefs. Um, and you've stayed true to who you are. And that's great. So this is telling you with gratitude, acceptance, I mean, Make sure you think, you know, thank your lucky stars because big things are coming your way and you could feel victorious right now because you, you guys have really done a good job at whatever it is you've been working on or whatever challenges is, have come your way. You guys have really persevered. Okay. That's the message I'm getting here. Now let's pull some charms for those of you that chose group number two. All right. With the queen of light. Charm casting. I love charm. So any additional messages that can come through with the charm for the viewers that chose option number two with the viewers that chose. some terms with the significant meaning okay so let's go through the letters first give me a second the string is all about playfulness um reminds me of my cat um yeah this is like really it's just playfulness it's um being able to lighten up a little bit especially with this too with this group or pile one also got the um unicorn charm pink balloon thingy cute little whimsical thingy my mom now let's look at your letters. You guys have a V. You guys have an O. You have an N. And you have an X. Okay, so these, and you guys also have a Y. Okay, so these letters might be of significance to you, okay? 
You guys also have the button, which is all about holding things together. And with the card that you guys chose, my cat, look, speaking of my cat, she's trying to get out the door. She literally is like, wah, 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 wah. okay, anyway, don't mind Friday. But the button is all about, um, you know, holding things together, okay? And we also have the pink heart. This is very like flirty and, you know, romantical. Maybe you're in love or there's going to be a, a new session of your life and love coming through, okay? Yeah, you got the key, okay? So this can be unlocking something or um, secrets or mysteries, okay? This, this could be what's going on, what has happened in your life. I mean, you guys have held the key the whole time to know um, the way to truth. And it's through this key, but you have the key. You are the keeper of the key. All right. You guys also got. The, I call this my fractured flower. Okay. This is about be. This kind of reminds me of going through a lot of stuff. Look, she's got like a little chip on her, but she's still gorgeous. She's still beautiful, or it is still illuminating. It's still magnificent in all its impurities. Welcome, accept, and love your impurities. That's all I have to say. Boring or. Perfect is boring, okay? So I got that for you guys as well. Um, like I said, these letters could be significant to you, but definitely, like, you guys have come a long way. You've been the keeper of a key. Time to lighten up, okay? Time to get a little playful, you know? Embrace that childlike, whimsical side of yourself, okay? Also, like I said, there might be some, like, new love coming your way or some flirtiness going on. Nothing wrong with a good little flirting. I mean as long as you know other things are going on but thank you pile number two that concludes your reading let me know if you guys like mystery monday and the surprise for today i think i'm going to keep it up and make sure you give me a big thumbs up little kisses until next time please like and subscribe all right thank you guys have a great one